in, in many ways, my, my story is, is different and similar to, to the stories of, of, of many uh, people who came of age in the 1980s or even the 1990s. And, and what I mean, especially in the 1990s, this was a, a decade when Americans really in both political parties, even Americans of different uh, racial and ethnic backgrounds were commonly considering black youth to be the problem, um, to be a menace to society, to be those who don't value education and therefore need no excuses schools, need are to be people who are so violent and dangerous that they're super predators, to that 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 black girls were were having too many babies because they wanted more welfare. It was all of these ideas that were suggesting that there was something wrong with black youth. And and as a black youngster, uh, it, 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 these ideas were directed towards towards me, and and I didn't realize fully how much I had come to even believe some of these ideas, um, you know, until really reflecting on this, on this book, and and really the book opens with, with with me giving a speech as a, a senior in in high school, uh, during MLK Day 2000, in, in which I thought I was so woke. Um, and so radical, uh, when indeed the speech was 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 nothing but a litany of, of anti-black uh, ideas, and and really the book opens there, and it really, you know, as as really my life sort of goes, it it really takes the reader, and really my story has been trying to overcome this early conditioning that the problem is black people. And, and, and trying to unlearn those ideas that were sort of showered onto me as, as it was to many people to, to realize that, that there really is nothing wrong with, with black people as a group and everything wrong with people saying that black people uh, are the problem and everything wrong with the actual true source of, of the cause of, of inequities and injustices in our society, which is, which is racist power you know, in policy. And so my journey has been really a journey away from this idea that the problem is people to this, to this more anti-racist idea about what's wrong with, with our conditions, what's wrong with our practices and policies and structures and, you know, and, 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 and systems. And, and all throughout that is not just overcoming this idea that there's something wrong with Black people, but even overcoming the idea that there's something wrong with Black women. You know, even overcoming the idea that there's something wrong with black poor people or black queer people. Um, you know, and I really wanted to track this sort of journey because, you know, for many people, it's they think it's enough to just say, okay, there's nothing wrong with black people. All the while, they think there's something wrong with specific uh, black sort of groups or Latinx groups or native groups, and 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 so. That's really my journey, my racial journey. I've had other journeys that I, fortunately I didn't have to also share, <laughs> uh, you know, in that book. But but I wanted really to to share um, my journey because in indeed the the being anti racist is a journey. 